YouTube, how's it going? I'm back with another seven round team mock draft. Finally to the Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles. Last pick in the first round. But we do have two two more teams after this. The Chiefs and the Texans who do not have first round picks. So we'll get to those. Uh, we are doing a fan voted mock draft. Link in the description. Along with that in the description we got our Twitter link. Frogs underscore angels. Got NFL draft coverage there. And our Instagram, we're getting that going again as well. FA underscore NFL Mock Draft, link in the description. We uh, Between the Twitter and Instagram, we may release a big board or some kind of prospect rankings. Um, may leak those before they actually become videos. So uh, go check those out. Give us, uh, give us a follow on those. But the Eagles, Super Bowl champions, they don't have a lot of picks, so this may be quick. They don't need a lot of picks, though. Somehow it got better. The best team in football got better this offseason, in my opinion. But let's get out of the first round. Um, this is what I would do. It's a very good fit. Maybe not the biggest need, but it's not always about need. It's about best player available and fit, how to make your team better. It's DJ Chark, the wide receiver from LSU. Um, I know they just signed Mike Wallace. Pretty similar to Mike Wallace. They actually got the deep speed. I think Chark could do more uh, in the intermediate to short uh, routes. Throw him a screen pass. He can go off on that. Uh, and he's probably faster than Mike Wallace right now. Mike Wallace was very fast in his young career, but they're not going to have him for a while. So this is the guy of the future. He fits that Eagles offense so good. He, he'd just be so scary in that offense, and that's what I'm thinking. I think Alshon Jeffrey is obviously number one guy. Uh, recent surgery, we expect him to be good to go, but you could use another receiver. Aglor is uh, going to be a free agent next year. Um, so, I mean, they have good depth. Definitely have good depth, really at any position. So it's hard to find a big need. I mean, maybe an outside linebacker, they have a bigger need here, but it's not all about that. If somehow a guy drops to them here, uh, one of those linebackers, yeah, they go ahead and jump on it. But I think he's a realistic pick. I think they'll take a good look at DJ Chark, and I just see him as a big-time fit um, there in that Eagles offense. On to their next pick, which is a fourth round, Shaquem Griffin, linebacker, UCF. Just why not? Why not try and why not take him? I mean, he's a good player. He can fit in at their outside linebacker spot right away. Uh, I think the Eagles would love to have his talents there. Uh, Michael Kendricks is hurt, uh, and they've been trying to trying to trade him here and there. So maybe they want to move on from him. But I mean, he was on the part of that Super Bowl team, so we know he can play. Uh, but Griffin come in there and help him as depth or start early on in his career has a lot of potential. He's definitely a good football player. I think they'll like to have him. Um, and we're on to their next pick. It's a fourth rounder. I really like this one for the Eagles. Jalen Samuels, the tight end, the H-back from NC State. They lost Trey Burton. Trey Burton was that new school type of tight end. Doesn't play in every downs, but he's a, he's a secret weapon tight end. Their second tight end. They lose him to the Bears. Uh, so they get Jalen Samuels. He, he can be that weapon in that new school uh, for that new school tight end, that RPO, that spread, whatever they're running over there. Um, he would be even better than Trey Burton. I can guarantee you that. More athletic, you can hand him the ball. It just makes sense for him to be. There's a couple teams I like him on, but it just makes so much sense, sense for him to be on the Eagles. Uh, it would be an ultimate weapon. It would just make them that much scarier. I think the Eagles have the ability to take guys in the mid-rounds and just make them scary players right away, like, like Jalen Samuels. On to the fifth round, Duke Dawson, in the corner from Florida. Getting to the point where we need depth. They did lose Patrick Robinson, their excellent slot corner. They have replacements already, but Duke Dawson's going to be their slot for the future. I love the fit. This is an Eagles type of player as well. Um, he's a good physical corner. He can play on the outside too, but I think they would like to have him in their slot for the future, and they would like him here in the fifth round. Could go as early as four. Sixth round, Tyquan Lewis, the edge rush from Ohio State. Can he play on the line? Can he step back a little bit? I think he'd play on the line for the Eagles. This is just pass rush depth. You know the Eagles aren't going to pass opportunity to get more pass rush depth here. Um, I mean, he can be. He has potential to play early on in his career, but uh, you got to play at a high level to be the starter for the Eagles' uh, D-line. But mainly it's just depth, pass rush. You need a lot of it. Everybody knows that. The Eagles know that. Uh, and, again, they don't have a ton of needs here, so um, – Really, I wouldn't be surprised with anything late late in the rounds. It would just be depth and guys they think they think uh, are very coachable and have high ceilings. Uh, maybe not necessarily guys that they expect to be on the field right away. So none, none of the fans should expect guys back here on the field right away. But a guy like Jalen Samuels, like I mentioned, mid round guy, um, a guy like that, they can they can have a good turnout on him with their coaching abilities. He can play early on, I think. Uh, but on their last pick in the seventh round, Nick Deluca, linebacker. North Dakota State, uh, one of those guys that's just not definitely not going to play right away. A lot of upside, small school guy, sleeper guy. A lot of teams like him late round, round six, round seven maybe. 
Uh, maybe a little bit undersized, but the Eagles would love to work with a guy like this for depth for the future. Uh, so they go with two linebackers in this class. Probably their biggest need is is more linebackers, but again, not huge needs. I think they need a legit number one receiver for the future. Don't think I mean right now. I mean for the future. I know I like Matt Collins. Uh, I like the way they've been drafting, but a guy like Chark can just fit their offense, make them that much better. Uh, it's going to be hard for defenses to game plan on that, no matter who their quarterback is. And obviously you expect it to be Wentz. But that'll do it for the Eagles mock draft. We still got the Chiefs and the Texans. Going to finish those up this weekend. And we're going to keep rolling on with draft coverage. Just NFL coverage 24-7. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. But that'll do it for this one. Goodbye.